Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, that rumor about Sega doing something with Microsoft or Sega doing something with Sony turned out to be completely false. Now, today, Sega announced a Game Gear Micro. They're gonna have four of them retailing for $50 each, coming with four games. Now, they have it in a black, blue, yellow, and a kind of, I don't know, I would say it's red. Now, these are really small. Um, they're kind of cute. I guess they're good for collectibles. However, I don't really see a lot of gamers getting these. Now, they each come with four different games. Now, the black model, for instance, comes with Sonic the Hedgehog, P.O. P.O. 2, Outrun, and Royal Stones, and the blue one comes with Sonic Chaos, Gunstar Heroes, Sylvan Tail, and Baku Baku Animal. Now the yellow one comes with Shining Force Garden, Incel, Jansen, No Kun He, Shining Forces, The Sword of Hygieia, Shining Forces Gaiden, Final Conflict, and the last title I'm not even going to try to announce. Now the fourth model comes with Revelations The Demon Slayer, Migami Tensu Gaiden, Last Bible Special, The GG Shinobi, and Columns. Now the hardware, it is pretty small. There's a 1.15 inch display. There's also a mono speaker and a headphone jack. It charges over USB, but you can also put two AAA batteries in it. As well, I'm seeing some type of magnifying glass that you can put on the top there so that you can see the image better. Now, like I said, this, I don't know who this appeals to. Like, it's cute. I don't know, for $50, I think that's a little much to be quite honest. Maybe if this was like $10, $15, I could see people picking it up, putting it on their keychains. However, the big hype that this all garnered, I don't think it was uh, deserved, obviously, with the final product. Don't get me wrong, I like Sega products, but we have a host of devices that have old Sega games on it. You know, we have whole collections on one disc. I'm kind of tired of the old Sega stuff. Like, it has its place, but the nostalgia for me has worn off. Now, if anything, I'd like Sega to bring its games to the newer generation of consoles and give us a new flip or a new turn on these games. However, this Sega Game Gear, the miniature version of it, it just doesn't say it for me. Now, the next story I want to talk about is Game Pass. Apparently, Samsung has a deal that Game Pass will be coming to its TVs. Now, this came up this morning, and you can see this advertisement here. It says, introducing Samsung Access for TV, premium TV, premium content, premium care. Now, if you look here on the screen, you can see that it says, choose your TV package, and then it says, choose your services or your content, and you can see Xbox Game Pass at the bottom there. Now, this this bodes well for Samsung and I think this bodes well for the Xbox brand as well. Let's be honest, there's a lot of casual gamers out there, gamers that would never actually get a console but might play Game Pass on their television for the simple ease of use. I just see a lot of people playing Game Pass on their Samsung TVs. Now I see some gamers are upset by this saying that it's not true, it's not Game Pass, it's not xCloud, you're still going to need your device. No, it's Xbox Game Pass. Now, Xbox Game Pass also includes xCloud. xCloud is Microsoft's streaming service where you do not need a Microsoft device, where you can do it on your phone, and now it appears you'll be able to do it on your Samsung TV. Now, once again, this is aimed at the casual market. The hardcore gamers will go out and get themselves a console. Now, the casual gamer, they might not get a console, and when they see this on their television, this is a potential customer for Microsoft. It helps the brand overall. Let's just be honest here. Physical hardware isn't going anywhere anytime soon it is here to stay and it will always be the best way to play your video games I think Xbox Game Pass xCloud all the other services it just complements the Xbox brand and I think it's a big move and I think it's a great decision for Microsoft to include these on the Samsung TVs as many gamers get Samsung TVs now personally I own a OLED television because that in my opinion is the best television that you can get for gaming is the best television in the market right now however there's a lot of gamers out there that do like Samsung TVs they have great color they're very bright for HDR and they have low input lag 
they're not bad TVs, they're just not as good as OLED televisions. And a lot of gamers buy Samsung TVs because they have various sizes, various models at different prices. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about all of the news today. What do you think about Sega's Game Gear Micro? How about the price? Do you think $50 is a fair asking price? As well, what do you think about Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass coming to Samsung TVs in 2020? Let me know in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.